Okay, files and directories. Under my documents right now, it's like Ag Open GPS has never been run. So there's no Ag Open GPS or fields or AB lines directories in here. Um, the first time we run it, it goes and creates those in the default directory, which is my documents. Ag Open GPS exists with a blank fields, that sort of thing. And if we delete it right out of it, suppose you deleted it. Now what's Ag Open GPS supposed to do? So if you go field and you go create new, you go Bob, it double checks and makes sure that those directories exist. And if they don't exist, voila, it creates them anyway. And there's Bob and the field information. So that's uh, part of error checking and catching and trying. Now to uh, set the working directory, Oop, field is open. So save and close the field. Now we can set our work directory. So here it comes up, it says currently it's a default. So you choose the directory that you want. In this case, we want OneDrive, which is like Dropbox. And then we go, okay. Now program will ex exit and please restart. So then we restart it. Obviously, if it's changing directories, then it has no idea where it is. So now when we look at OneDrive, we can see that Ag Open GPS is there, but there's no Bob. So you gotta pick your directory early on and that's where your fields are. And I mean, you can always copy and move them over at any time. You go to documents, you can take your and take the field and drag it over into OneDrive. There you go, Bob's over in OneDrive. And then when you run it again, Existing. There's Bob. And you can load it anyway. So it's basic Windows, whatever. But this is something that you're not going to change very often. Just change it once at the beginning, and you're good. Now, the way this works in code, uh, form GPS when you load the window, you Make the base directory either the default one, my documents, and add Ag Open GPS in the end of it. That's the default. Or whatever you have in settings plus Ag Open GPS, this becomes your base directory. It's your fields directory. You add fields to the end of the base directory, and then you make sure that thing exists. And if it doesn't, then you create it. Same with the vehicles directory. If you if it doesn't exist, you create it. If you want to save a vehicle. And uh, your current directory, your current working directory, if it exists, then you select that. But if you're going to open one and somebody deleted it in the meantime, again, you double check and make sure that the direct directory exists and then save it accordingly. This tries to save some errors. So that's the way it works. And that's uh, pretty simple.